Hi everybody, um, today's video is on my latest purchase, which is the Omega uh, Mini Track LX2 mount. So we're coming into the summer season, which is galaxy season, planetary season, but there's also the, the core of the Milky Way will be rising um, at a nice time to take photos of. So I was thinking about investing in um, a sky tracker. So, well, a star tracker, but one that's portable. So there's a few options out there, such as like the Ioptron Sky Tracker and Sky Guider, and also the um, Sky Watcher, I can't think of the name, Star Adventurer. And I was thinking of going the Star Adventurer way, but it's, it's something that I'd want to take on holiday with me that I want it to be super portable. And I happen to be looking through an issue of Sky at Night magazine. Let me just grab. So it was February 2019. I came across this advert. Now, if I was prepared, I would have found the exact page where I came across an advert for the mini track. And I was very, very intrigued because it doesn't need electricity. So, I went on Google and I asked Google, I said, Hey Google, what is the Omegon Mini Track LX2 Sorry, Mount? I don't know about Omegon. That didn't work, but. Hey Google, what is the Omegon Mini Track LX2 Mount? On the website Amazon.co.uk, they say, The Omegon Mini Track Mount is an instrument that almost guarantees successful astronomy photos when used with wide angle and lightweight telephoto lenses. So, I was like, oh, I could use this with my DSLR and potentially with the kit lens that I already have. And maybe in future I could get something like a Samyang 14mm or just the Canon 24mm lens to go with it. So, I decided to order it. I have had a play. Now, I can't say that it almost guarantees successful astronomy photos, astrophotography um, episodes. It's a little bit more complex than that. But for what it is, it's a very, very good gadget. So, in this video, I'll quickly unbox it. I have already had it open, but I'll unbox it again so you can see what it comes with. And I'll show you set up on the tripod and I'll show you a few photos that I've already taken with the mini track LX2 and my Canon 200D with 18 to 55mm kit lens. So, on to the unboxing. So, right, on to the unboxing. I don't have a ball head for my camera, so I decided to order the kit um, with the ball head which came to a grand total of £139. What in astronomy or astrophotography can you get for £139 these days? So I'll show you ball head first because it is reasonably high quality. So got the Omega branding and it comes with a little mini sort of dovetail plate so this would fit onto the bottom of your camera and then would be affixed into here and it's also got a little bubble spirit level I know they're not super accurate but I thought it was a nice touch so not much to see there oh and there's also a little spirit level there didn't, didn't know there was that one there either, but hey ho. It's a nice quality ball head. Quite solid, a little bit weighty, but it's not a bad thing. So, now onto the mini track itself. I really like the packaging, and apparently it was. Rated a hot product for 2019 by Sky and Telescope. So if we remove the sleeve, it comes in a nice cardboard box. You could probably just see the dog down there. She's 
chewing something. So when you open up the box, there's a set of instructions um, to download. It points you where to download the manual from. Here's one I printed earlier. A bit scrunched, but you know. And we have what they call the polar scope, but is actually a polar straw. I actually joke that this could, if you were to take the mini track to the beach, this could double up as a straw for cocktails or gin and tonic or anything like that. So I'll put that back in there so I don't lose it. We have the mini track itself. So it's all made of metal, nice and weighty. Um, don't know if you can see the writing. So it says track time 60 minutes, which is the longest it'll go. The to work out the max time for your fo uh, for different lenses, it's 100 divided by the focal length in millimeters, and that gives you the time in minutes that you can do. And it says that it's got a max weight of 2 kg. This is the mechanism where you turn it. You can turn it a maximum of one turn. As you can hear, it's ticking away like a bomb. So, first time I got this out and it started ticking, Luna went a bit crazy, but she's, she's quite used to it now. And this here is where the polar straw fits <laughs> and if we turn it over we've got a little screw thread where you can screw your base plate for your tripod on and this is quite innovative um, depending on where the weight and your centre of balance and centre of gravity of your equipment is you tension the spring so that the mechanism doesn't speed up or doesn't get too slow and it tracks the stars accurately so your ball head screws onto here. Now if you order the ball head that comes with the mini track um, kit, this will already fit. But if you've got your own ball head, there's another size screw thread to screw into there. And in the box, let me just put this ticking thing away. In the box, you've also got a tool to change over that screw thread. So that's pretty much it for what's in the box. Okay, so we've switched to my mobile phone for videoing now. So apologies if it's not as high quality as the DSLR. You could probably still hear this um, ticking away, but I just wanted to show you how it fitted onto my tripod. Now, my tripod is nothing special. Uh, please excuse the dog toys everywhere. Um, I think it cost me about £16 from Amazon, but it's nice and sturdy. But this is light enough um, that it fits on quite nicely. So here's the polar straw I was talking about. And you would look through here to place Polaris in this field of view. And that makes the polar alignment good enough. My only recommendation is for when you're doing that, don't have the camera on there and move the ball head out the way. So you've got a clear view down that polar straw. So I'll pop the camera on now and I'll show you um, what it all looks like when it's together. So this is what it looks like. So the camera is now on the ball head, all secure, and theoretically it's tracking away. So onto that spring depending on where this center of gravity and balances of this setup you would need to tension the spring so i found that a little bit confusing but luckily in the manual it does tell you exactly where to put the spring in what position and it gives you some handy examples and i just drew myself a little reminder of where everything was pointing. So 
all in all, this is a super portable setup with the only sort of battery reliance being on the camera battery itself. The only other thing that I added to this setup is a remote shutter. And I think I got that off eBay for like five pounds. So in total, we're looking at less than 160 pounds for the tripod, the tracker, and the remote shutter. The camera was obviously a lot more expensive, but this is a really good way for people to get into astrophotography. So what I'll do now is I'll show you some images that I've taken this past weekend with the mini track itself. As always, thanks for watching and I'll try and get another video out soon. Bye for now.